Yeah, and, and there's this guy. Actually, I don't want to give him attention. Let me call. Let me call Bryce. Bryce is a good person to um, talk about this kind of stuff in that LA scene. Um, I think, uh, and also he just coming off a good fight. Let me let me call him Bryce. See what he thinks. Bryce. Hey. Bryce Hall, where you at? You eating dinner? I get to eat whatever the fuck I want now. What the fuck? I thought you always you can't do that before. No, I had to lose 30 pounds, but now we're eating Chick-fil-A. Good stuff, man. Hey, congrats on the big congrats on the win. Uh I saw you training. And bare knuckle, bare knuckle. I actually, even my dad texted me. He's like, yo, Bryce did a bare knuckle fight. That's badass. Like, respect, bro. I've never seen, I didn't think influencers could do that. And I, I wasn't, I'm not even going to cap, bro. I wasn't sure if you were going to win. Because <laughs> you saw me, you, you saw me training. Well, I saw you training and also it's like bare knuckle. Like I, I didn't, th didn't that guy, like, wasn't he undefeated before you? Yeah, it was the 3-0 bare knuckle fighter. Yeah, I was like, of course you're going to lose. I'm not going to, I did not, I, I, I had a conversation in New York. I'm like, yeah, I don't think he's going to win. So I, 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 I don't want to lie, I, cause, but I, you exceeded my expectations and I think you raised the bar. Well, it was like a, it was like a win-win situation for me. So it's like if I went in there and I got my ass kicked, it was, it was against like a bare knuckle fighter. Uh, that, that's like a pro who's undefeated. And then, you know, the outcome that happened is even better it exceeded even my expectations i was like oh shit this i didn't even know like what was going on when it happened did you actually think you were gonna win i thought i was gonna get like some really good hits in um so it would be like good clips uh and i, I and i did feel like one of my punches could drop them so i was like okay maybe i'll get lucky and in the first 10 seconds, I, I drop him and I was like, oh my God, this is going to be a lot easier than I thought. And then he got up immediately and I was like, oh shit, he's probably angry. Your face looks fine. You know, you had a couple of cuts, bro. You, you look, you look back to normal completely. Yeah, no, the scar, the scar is there, but like, I'm, I'm good. You're good. Healed well, up. Are you ready to fight again? How, how soon? January. You have it confirmed already? Uh, not, not like a, an exact date, but we're, we're looking at a. We're looking at a Deji fight in January. It's confirmed. Like it's it's not confirmed date, but we're looking at a Deji fight in January. Like that's the goal. Don't you get way like? Don't you think you could aim higher? Is Deji like on your level? Yeah, yeah. No, he's a he's a respectable opponent. I also think um, I think once I beat him, his brother's gonna have to fight me. Because like KSI, KSI won't fight me right now, even though I'm, I'm coming off of a win. Mm -hmm. And he's fighting like bums or whatever. Right. Like now, now it's like, okay, I beat your little brother. Now you have to avenge him type shit. Mm -hmm. Yo, I want to, I want to walk out with you for that. But you don't need, you know, you know, it's, it's fine. It's cool. It's cool. You should come do, do we do that? Do we do the, the Andrew Tate song again? That was a W. I did not expect that. Yeah, I saw you dressed up uh, as Halloween, Brandon. Like, he, uh, he, he, I think he even uh, replied to you saying that. But people are going to call me a dick sucker if I do that. No, he, tw he tweeted it. Uh, he tweeted at me. It was actually so sick. I was like, oh, fuck, that's awesome that he, he saw the fight. Um, but, yeah, no, I walked out to that shit and it was just – I knew it was going to get some people pissed, but totally just owned it. I'm surprised because I remember when we talked last year, I was asking you a lot about the red pill type questions. Like, do you think that they're trying to destroy masculinity in real time? And you seemed a little bit like Dude, we're, hop we're hopping out. We're hopping out of the matrix. You're out. Don't you th don't you think I'm like on my way out? I feel like I'm on my way out. I knew you were red pill the whole time. And I, I knew that you were kind of held back by TikTok back then. It's good. To, how old are you now? 24, 25? 24, yeah. 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, and so yeah, we, we kind of talked on Twitter. You're like, you're trying to get out of that TikTok gay 13-year-old girls always the fan base thing. <laughs> like, you, 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 want to, you want to do bigger and better things. It's good. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, I definitely am over the, the TikTok shit. I mean, obviously, like, I'm still posting and stuff. But I'm out of, like, that, that like, realm of drama and stupid shit. You're not going to let them hold you back anymore. And yeah, no, it's just now I'm just posting to, to promote shit. That's what's up. Are you, you, is there, you're on YouTube mostly or TikTok mostly? Just hopped back on YouTube. 
Uh, but dude, I might, I might have to hop on the live stream wave. If Fousey's doing weird shit, like I, I could definitely hop on that Fousey <laughs> wave. Not, not like harassing random people and slapping people, but like, you know, just yeah, yeah, the yeah. entertainment. Aspect. Yeah. Don't just spit on people's floors. But what do you think about, yeah, Fousey fought, uh, Deji back in the day. Did you, did you watch that fight and analyze it and see where, why he lost? I mean, I knew, like, I knew, uh, I knew Fousey was, um, gonna lose that fight going into that i i've seen how he boxes and i've seen how uncoordinated he is um so i i knew like how that fight was gonna play out especially with deji's skill level like even though he's lost so many times he's a good technical boxer mm -hmm. i just knew he wasn't even gonna touch deji and that's how it like happened i said it publicly i said like deji's not i mean fusi's not gonna touch deji and then i think he got one punch on deji i, I didn't watch the fight i saw him knocked down but yeah, I, I don't think even – he messed up his nose. I don't think he's ever going to fight again. But what, what's your take on, on that? You're saying – I knew this right before he came to the call. I don't know if you watched it, but I knew this. Fousey, like, started – everybody's like, everybody wants to come on the IRL streaming. The new wave was really created. Like, no matter, like, whether you like or dislike him, he really started a new wave of streaming that everybody is, like, everybody's paying attention to. He, he is – he's like a – I don't know why – I think a lot of people think he's just going to fuck up or do something like super bad and they're just waiting for that to happen. It's like kind of like the, the train wreck, like people want to see him fail. Yeah. But if he can somehow maneuver his way to get that kick deal, get that like massive signing bonus and then completely change his image after, you know, he gets the deal done, I would, I would love to see it. Cause I think Fousey deserves it after years in, in, you're cutting out a little bit. He deserves that after years of what? Years in the space. I feel like the hard work that he put in, he he, he deserves it. He does. But do you think he should take a break? I'm, I'm wondering because you're in that like LA cloud people space. I'm watching this like being I 100% I think he should take a, a break for quite a bit and tone it down, even though that's not what gets views. And he learned what gets views. So he's going to want to continue doing the train wreck thing. But like, just for his sanity, like if he continues this way, it's it's just going to continue ending poorly. I think he, he 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 knows what's gonna get views. So he's doing like all the most outlandish things that people are gonna like talk about. He's trending every single day. I think a break after he gets his kick deal signed. Wow. Like like at least like a week to just get off your phone, get off social media, and just kind of like think, you know. I, I, but apparently, uh, my editor Kev has been watching it for a long time. A lot of people who've been paying attention said that this is like the fourth time this happened. That he, he gets all the way up, goes all the way back down, all the way up, all the way down. Uh, how how could he turn that? Because his whole thing is like it's going to crash. How do how can he yeah. sustain this? But when he when he when he goes up though, this is this is the farthest he's ever went up. Like this is this is the, sure. the farthest he's ever went up. And I mean, in my head. If I was in his position, I, I just can't put my myself in his position right now. I, if I heard the number thirty million dollars, thirty million dollars to just not fuck up and just, yo, you can sign this tomorrow or in a week if you just don't fuck up. That would click in my head like the word that like the words thirty million dollars. I'd be like, oh fuck, I'm just gonna, I'm probably just gonna fight somebody. That's cool. That's like not cancelable. Yeah. Just like cr like riding the line of of being a fuck up, but mm -hmm. just not crossing it. You know what the fucked up thing I think is? I think for people like Fusi and a lot of the LA space, it's not even about the thirty million. It's just about getting attention. I don't think that really matters. I think it, what's more important is getting views and feeling validation from strangers online more than the money. I think a lot of these people don't even really care about like the money. How much can you really do with uh, with ten million compared to thirty? You get to retire your parents, you get some cars, you get a house, but that's it. The people really want attention. He's got it. <laughs> He's got it. He should, he should just accept that, uh, that 30 million and, and, and chill out. I, I hope it's possible, bro. I've, I've never seen somebody with that energy in my life. And bro, I, he is a completely different person, like a completely different person. He, he almost doesn't seem real. <laughs> yeah. like have you ever hung out with like a like a 
you're way more mature than like a, a the younger person in your group and they're just always like fucking with random people it's almost like you're hanging out with like a 16 year old boy that'll just like oh human and like they'll they'll like run away after they say something like stupid and fucked up you're just like oh my god why would you say that like uh -huh. in public uh -huh. he's like that but 33 so what are you going to do on stream? How, how do you compete? I, I think that's what a lot of people are thinking. They're seeing the wild stuff he's doing. How do you match that, but all, but stay alive? Oh, I think I can, I can do a lot of like stuff in public that'll, I would do, I would do an IRL stream a hundred percent. Bro, come to Miami. I want to do um, a boxing stream with you IRL. Yeah, that'd be sick. Uh, should we, should we go to Miami boys? That's where it's at, man. Say, Everybody's I say, here. I say, I say right after Vegas. I'll go to Miami, no alcohol. Yeah, I'll go. We can go to the boxer gym. Oh. Yeah, I'm down. I, he doesn't even drink anyways. I don't drink. You don't drink? You definitely drank on your birthday. I had three shots and I left. Two shots? I had two shots and then I left. Yo, you could invite me to your party? Yeah, dude. I, I didn't even... We rented out the club. Uh, we... <laughs> Took out. We we invited. It was completely packed. So like the girl to guy ratio is like ten to one. But I already had a girl with me, and then we took three shots, and I was like, "All right, you guys have fun, please." And then you just let them. You just let them party. Yeah, and they all partied until I don't even know when. So. Yeah, you pull. Up, I think you'd be good on uh, IRL streams. We can go boxing. We can, um, you know, maybe do a double date stream. Go around the public, like um, talk to people. Maybe we're, tomorrow we're going to go with Ryan Garcia, me and Aiden. Uh, I don't know if I want to leak everything. We're going with Ryan on a, on a yacht, stuff like that. Like there, there's so much to do and it's, it's more fun now. Like the, this type of stuff, like this call right now, this is boring. Compared to Fousey, like getting swatting himself and shutting down TikTokers houses. Th this sucks. Like this content sucks. So we got to turn it up, Bryce. Yeah, no, I'm down. Uh, okay. So after Vegas, I'm going to Vegas this weekend for a poker tournament. I'll go the next weekend. We're here, man. We're 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 gonna keep turning it up. What? All right, you guys down next weekend? All right, we, all my boys are down to come too. Locked in, man. Locked in. We'll, we'll um, I'll talk to Aiden too. What do you what, what did you resonate with Andrew Tate the most? Because people, on, it's so controversial. Like in your space, that's the the most controversial guy. I just think uh, the way he like promotes masculinity. Did you hear that? Yeah, I heard it. So it said like. Low, low power mode, I didn't know. So someone like you, I mean, like respectfully, like you have to, do, like you're doing like e-boy stuff and do you, I, I don't do, I don't do that by the way. I haven't done that in like a year and a half, two years almost. What, so you've been doing like fun videos for the past two years. I've been, I've been like kind of just stitching videos and shit. Okay. Yeah. Like I, I, I just stitch videos on, yeah, I know it, it the, like a lot of people, when they, they hear my name, they think like, I just do TikTok dances and shit. I haven't done that in like two years. That's good. Cause you always struck me as somebody who was doing that because you know, like it, that's what's, it didn't, it never seemed like that was really you. It was, it was never me. It was never like I did a TikTok dance and then I would look at it with my friends and we'd be like, oh, this shit is sick. This is awesome. <laughs> so like, did you record the videos and then afterwards, like he just be like, oh, and then, oh, fuck. It was it was like oh god I can't believe I have to post this for money. Anyways, there you go, it's posted. Uh, yeah, I think you could have a really good pivot. People are seeing it, especially uh, coming off of that that win, and you probably have like experiences and you have stories to tell and you have a, a message that that people want to hear. I guess I'm gonna have to just do that on my streams. Let me steal a little bit of content from you now. What have you learned being in that space for a while? Tell me something. Uh, what's like the number one thing you've learned being in that space to influence your space? Because I, I, that's, I think, an important conversation, especially with Fousey right now and the mental health thing. Like, what have you noticed before coming into this world and after? Uh, coming into the influencer world? Yeah. Well, I've been doing it since I was 14, so I didn't really like have like a world outside of social media. Oh, me too. Yeah, I've been doing it since 14. What were you doing at 14? I was I was a live streamer. Call of Duty? You now, if you know what that is. No. It was like a competitor with Twitch back in 2014, 2013. So it was never you always knew what this what this was. Well, what about like in the being successful in it, being immersed in that LA TikTok house, famous people, celebrity thing. Like have you noticed something like messed up with the mental health? Um 
not with me personally. I have seen like a lot of people in my space uh, deal with that. So I have no room to even go into that. But I am also not friends with many people in the space. Like I, my, all my friends don't do social media. Like I, I hate, I hate most social media influencers. You got normies around you. Yeah. Oh, good, good, good. And one of them just shit their fucking pants over what? there. <laughs> what the fuck? Like, did you hear that? He. Uh, I'm glad I didn't. Gross. Didn't What's his name? What's his name? Zach Ryan. Yo, what's up, guys? Come to Miami, man. We need some normal people. We need some regular, non-drug addict, manic people on streams, too. Well, we'll come to Miami. All right, well, that's what's up, bro. <laughs> Maybe not you, because I, I could tell that it hasn't really affected you, but what about other so, people? So like, my, my, my guy actually shaved his head after he watched one Andrew Tate video. That's not true. I got a really bad haircut, and then just haven't grown it out since. <laughs> When he was shaving it, was he playing the tornado? Literally, literally. Okay, okay. <laughs> he was he was the one that uh, actually told me, "Yo, you should walk out to the Andrew Tate song." Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why he shaved his head. Makes sense. All right, but what were you saying? Back to serious, man. Um. Yeah. Let's have intellectual deep conversation. I I want to tell tell me tell me something that you've seen from not you but other people around like what have you noticed being in that space like you know the the drugs that are going on like how people are addicted to attention like there's got to be some it, why don't you fuck with most influencers um because they're all like super fake like su su like not even fake on and off camera just as soon as you're uh <laughs> My friend wanted to tell me he sold his soul, but um, anyways, most of them are all just like fucking clout farmers. They all like to just film, and then right when the camera turns off, they just don't even communicate. It's almost like they're robots. Like, they don't have a personality outside of, like, a camera. Mm -hmm. Some of them are really good at, like, flipping on the personality and then turning it right the fuck back off. It's creepy. It's like Black Mirror type people yeah no it's it's really crazy like i'll see some of the la girls that are like really popping on social media they'll be like super like bitchy and like oh i'm entitled blah blah, blah. and then as soon as the camera comes out they're like hey you should get this product I like and then i'm like oh god this is cringe to watch it's making you money but like oh it's so cringe do you sign ndas with these girls no and there was like a massive clip that was going viral that this girl said that I, I make every single girl i hook up with sign an nda that that's never been a thing for me why why well, you seem like some aiden apparently does that i, I don't want to leak but yeah yeah no i i don't i mean like i'm friends with like almost every single girl i hook up with i don't like treat them like shit i there's it's always like a really good time mm-hmm how do you weed it's out? A really good two minutes. Two. Mi yeah, wait, wait, yeah. Didn't you like, uh, bro? My bad. But didn't you like pop an Adderall and you couldn't something something like get it up or something? That's not true. Oh, it was Sky Bree. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was that was that was a true thing. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Why are you why are you popping Adderall to fuck Sky Bree? Well, I was popping an Adderall to do stuff all throughout the day, and then the Adderall was still in my system. Yeah. Yeah. And then it kind so of it's like it stays in there. It's like very, it makes, yeah. It's like, yeah, it's like a yeah, It's like you just hop out of an ice bath. Yeah, yeah. It's it's worse. It's like shriveled and it looks it looks like an old man. It, it, it's bad. Yeah. yeah. So it was bad. And then she was trying to hook up, and I was like, no, no, we should just like, you know, like I'm not like that. I don't do that on the first day, you know. And she was like, she was like, oh, that's so sweet. And I was like, yeah, exactly. So tell all your friends that I'm like this. And it worked. A win is a win, my friend. Good stuff, Bryce. Hey, you haven't. What's what's your biggest L? Has he taken an L? Yeah, Austin he, McBroom. That was my biggest L. Oh you know yeah, I, mean? I forgot. Bro, I already forgot about that. I already forgot See? about that. Yeah, wait, run it back. Are you gonna run it back? Austin McBroom. Yes. Uh, it, so he's in talks with the opponent I just beat, G Perez, because mm -hmm. uh, Austin McBroom needs money right now. Yeah. And Bare Knuckle has money. So they're offering him a, a good amount of money to fight the guy that I just beat 
And if he wins against the guy that I just bought, uh, that I just beat, me and Austin will have a rematch bare knuckle. And then you have a good comeback arc. Oh yeah. Yeah, I already forgot about that personally. My chat's asking to uh, to ask you about God. You believe in God? Yeah. You Christian? I'm not like a religious. I'm not like a religious dude though. Okay. Like I'm not. I'm not like Fousey, just like preaching about it all the time or anything like that. I'm, I'm just. I believe it, and then I've also seen some like demonic shit here. You know, it's just like, hey, it's there. Have you seen what demonic stuff have you seen? Dude, I'm in Hollywood, bro. Tell me, what's the most demonic thing you've seen? Dude, I can't say that I'll die. No, say it, say it, say it. <laughs> oh no, you've seen the pentagrams? You, wait, you've seen child? You've seen children being sacrificed? <laughs> Dude, I live in Hollywood. That's all I gotta say. Like I've wait. been here since I was 17. Say on God, you've seen a ritual. Dude, I've seen some crazy stuff. I can't say what I've seen. Bro, let me farm you. Tell me. Dude, I've, I live in Hollywood, man. That's all I can say. Look at my friends. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <That's right. Yeah. laughs> Dude, I, we, we don't have to talk about it. Okay. I'm cool with everybody here in Hollywood. Nice, it's nice, nice, viral. nice, this nice. This goes viral. I am really cool with everyone yes. in Hollywood, and I don't discriminate against anybody. Okay, not you don't discriminate against Satan? I don't discriminate against anything. Oh, I do. I hate them. They're bad people. You, you're in Miami. You're safe. Okay, good. Hey, be safe, Bryce. Enjoy your Chick-fil-A. Wait, wait. So what weight did you fight at? 168. And There's... I'm already, I'm like 185 right now. You getting fucking already? Yeah. Is that the easy? next the next three three days three days after my fight I was 180. Oh, because all the water weight and the cutting and stuff. Water water came back. I got to eat like bread, you know, carbs. I just got to carb up. What were you eating before? Just I'm not not fat. I just see like they're, they're I'm like not fat. I just I bulked up. I have like muscle again. So how tall are you? Six feet. I'm five ten. You're five ten. So, what would my fighting weight be? I'm I'm six two. I'm one sixty five right now. Well, like, how much would I have to cut down to? To bro, that's a you're you should stay at that weight. But don't I? Shouldn't I cut? No, six two six two one sixty five. You're fighting like short dudes. Like you're fighting guys my height. Deji's five nine. Austin McBroom is apparently six foot, but we're the same height. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, you're fighting like dudes that are. Like below five ten, at that weight. So I'm already fighting weight. Yeah, like uh, that weight's good. How much preparation? But if you wanted to cut. Okay. I don't even know anyone that's like under one sixty five. I know like Dean the Great. They they fight at like one forty. I think. Dean the Great. Dean the Great's like five six. Five six. And he's one forty. Yeah, that's pretty. And that Walid one forty. He's five six five five. Chats, everybody in my chat's calling me skinny, saying I would get smoked at 190. Like they're, they're, they're saying I'm a stick. Don't don't go up and wait. You're, you're gonna feel slow. You're gonna feel very slow. Stay stay here. Okay. But we, we should we should get on the we should get on the mitts. I wanna I wanna learn it. It's, some, it's maybe some light sparring, some light sparring just to entertain them. Yeah, yeah. Bit. Like what I did with um. The guy, in, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Miami. Okay. Okay, but with gloves on, preferably. Yeah, hundred percent. I I don't like. I never sparred bare knuckle. That wasn't a thing. Wait, so you never even knew how to fight bare knuckle? You just got in there and then. Well, it was like you can't really prepare for a bare knuckle fist across your jaw. I was training with twelve ounces, so like pro gloves. Uh -huh. Can it go lighter than that? Yeah, like you can do ten ounces, but that would hurt. I mean, that's just like that's. I didn't. I didn't have ten ounces. <laughs> All right, Bryce. My chat's saying uh, I'm dick sucking, so I just wanna. I wanna end before they they get mad at me and say I'm glazing. It was chat, just... chat, relax, relax. We're just talking about fighting. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're making me mad right now. So I'll see you soon in Miami, right? Um, next weekend after this one. Okay, I look forward to it. And then off camera, you could tell me about all the kids you saw sacrificing the the pentagrams. I, will, I, 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 we will not talk about that until I see you in person. All right, peace. Okay, and then I'll leak it. Bye.